this video what we are going to see is how to log in using bootstrap model along with the bootstrap model we are going to have a look into how session works in php fine as you can see this is the screen of index page when i click you can see there is a pop up which will prompt you to insert admin sorry username and password if i click on login it will prompt that there is some error if you insert proper details it will get into the next page or the same page I have just created with I have just created the same page not the next page for just understanding of session fine if I click on login it will get into the next page you can see previously it was login now it's log out the name has come up which we have used to log in fine the database we are going to use is simply the testing which has a table login check and the columns are ID name and password you can see the name and password are admin and admin you'll get the backup of the database in the description box along with the source code we are going to create this video with the help of php mysql ajax jquery fine uh, this is a demonstrative video we are not going to we are not going to create from scratch yes we are just going to see how the data is flow data has flowed from one page to another page fine now as you can see in the index page it is simply a bootstrap template which says there is a model so this is a bootstrap template and uh, i have used in the uh, body itself i have used a if else which says if a session is set just say the button with login if the session is not set then say sorry if the session is set then say log out if the session is not set then say login you can see the button each button has a id for logout it is simply id it, it is simply logout for login i have used the model which will open a form which will prompt you to enter username and password you can see these are the two input field which has id user and password the name is unames and passwords uh, i have used the id this i uh, form ID as you can see there is no action and there is no, no method because we are going to send the form data using Ajax when I click on the login the form will get submitted so this is how it works when the document is ready this is a form ID when the form is on submit get the value of two input field and throw it into the variable u and p this is when default is that because when I click on submit the page will automatically refresh this is the default behavior of the browser to stop the default behavior of the browser I have used the function prevent default you can see there is a parameter passed e and i have used the same parameter to call the function prevent default fine when the username and password are set then go to the ajax within the ajax there is a page called this data the u and p are sent to the page credential check with the method post and the data is sent as a usernames and passwords these are the two variable which is sent to the credential check.php fine in in the credential.php we are going to display two value the first one if if it is right then we will get s yes. if it is wrong it will say no so in the credential check you can see these are the login credentials and uh, we have checked the sql statement using and condition if both right then it will return a query uh, the result of the query which is simply the admin everything which is on the table and if the data is retrieved then it will display yes if the data is not retrieved then it is it will say no appropriately if the data is set uh, before that the, you can see there is a session I have created this session you can see there is a session start and session start on both the pages which says this variable is shared among the two pages which variable session c underscore name is shared among two pages so when the data is retrieved you can say it will reload the page once the, re once the page is reload the session variable gets activated if the session variable gets activated then this block will run which will say log out you can see there is an ID when I click on the ID it will again call the Ajax it will pass the variable called action flag and the action flag true will